because we utilize uh, not only a wide variety of students, both actors and dancers and musicians and stage crew, lighting, set design, uh, uh, miking, sound design, the whole, like there are students at every single level. Uh, I play the role of Billy Crocker. He's kind of a, he, well he is the main character, but he's also like, um, he's a stowaway on the ship but he's kind of like a lovable loser because you end up rooting for him because he's got a lot of charm and heart, but he's also really poor and just wants to uh, get the, his girlfriend to fall in love with him. I mean, Reno, like I said, she's a she's a big character. I mean, she's, you know, I, I keep like describing my character and I'm like, well, um, Reno Sweeney is in a, an evangelist turned night singer and that's not like, I mean, that's not something that you hear and, but it's it's that idea, you know, it's, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird, but it's it's fun. And that's um, fun. We actually have a two-story set, which I think is so cool. Um, there are going to be dancers, you know, seven feet up in the air, I think was the measurement. Um, and, I mean, I've never seen that done at heights before. And I don't know that many high schools do it. And I think it's really cool that we're, you know, doing all this bracing and making sure it can stand up to, you know, a dozen people jumping around up on it. So I'm doing the lighting design for the musical, which means that I am in charge of choosing what lights go where, what colors and effects I would put in the lights, and uh, how to best light the actors on stage. And not only how to light them, but also how to supplement the show with like, you know, if we're on a ship or water effects or, you know, movie projector effects, any sort of effects that we need from the lights. I'm in charge of setting up the microphones, making sure all of them work, making sure that the, all the actors can be heard in the different types of microphones that we use, making sure the sound effects are correct, and making sure that all the speakers work so the audience and the actors on stage can hear themselves when they're performing. I love musicals, so I enjoy how the pit music sounds as a full ensemble, and I also enjoy being able to be a part of something bigger because we don't normally get to play with a choir or play with dancing going on behind us. Cole Porter is the, the composer of this music, and he is a national, was a national treasure. Uh, this music, this style of music, the jazz genre, is widely considered to be the United States uh, gift to the art world. Uh, well, the music is that of like my grandparents' generation, um, the 20s, 30s, and 40s. And uh, as far as that, like I've always really loved that era of, you know, of pop culture and everything that was going on. Uh, it's just such a happy. Uh, romantic era and the music really just comes across I mean Cole Porter is a genius and so every piece of music in this show is just like it's it's a master at the at the top of his craft I kind of love this you know this type of music anyways like like the jazzy like 30s 40s stuff I mean in, in my free time like I have a playlist of like 1940s music that I just listen to so it's not it's not necessarily foreign um, to kind of listen to this and get into it. The first measure of tap that we did, the students, their eyes lit up and they got to work. And it was going to be amazing. Like, I, I don't think we had three kids that had that experience. And everybody's tapping. It is going to be fabulous. It's, it's been so exciting to watch them just get after it. That's probably one of the biggest things preparation-wise. It's kicking my butt. <laughs> um, I sweat a lot because of it, but it's 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 a challenge that I do enjoy taking. And it's something to look forward to at the end of every day. You know, I always know that I've got, <clears throat> even if it's been the worst day I could ever imagine. There's, you know, there are always ways to feel productive in here and there are always people who love me and people who I love you know waiting 
to help me do something and you know waiting for me to help them and it just makes me feel like it makes me feel like I matter it's definitely an honor to be in a production of this caliber I mean, because Heights High is, for the past decade, they've been known in the community as putting on the most stellar shows possible for a high school. And, you know, we just, every year we try to continue that tradition of excellence and um, being the best that we can be. And so, you know, it's pretty daunting, but also a great honor to be able to take part in a sort of, I almost feel like, there are bigger things at work all the time, and then, you know, I'm just a small part of it. Don't kiss me pretty wench, it ain't the song of French, but I love